But meanwhile, let's jump the generation gap and greet Mark Bowen. I've been reading recently, Mark, in a newspaper, uh, an article which suggests that you are the successor to the Beatles. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all cool and having a good day. Today we are back in Golders Green Crematorium and it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Last time we were here it was absolutely freezing. I think it was actually snowing. If I remember correctly but we're here to have a look at the memorial plaques of Mr Mark Bolan oh, getting attacked um, a gentleman that was at the forefront with his group T-Rex of the 70s glam rock movement and he does actually have two plaques here one that was put up initially when he passed away and a second one that was put up by his fan club to celebrate the anniversary of him passing away so we're going to have a look at those have a look around it is an absolutely beautiful place and um, get a bit more info on Mark Bolan. Mark Bolan was born Mark Field on the 30th of September 1947 in Hackney Hospital. He initially grew up in Stoke Newington and started playing the guitar around nine years old. He started to fall in love with rock and roll listening to Gene Vincent and other artists like Chuck Berry. The family moved to Wimbledon when he was 15 and he met his first manager in the early 60s. He recorded his first track all at once which wasn't initially released until after he passed away as a limited edition vinyl. After signing with several other managers and struggling to break into the music industry, in 1965 he signed to Decca Records and changed his name to Mark Bolan. Mark joined the group John's Children as they were in need of a songwriter. They had success performing live but initial record sales were low. With relationships strained and ongoing problems within the group, Mark eventually left and he formed his own group which he called Tyrannosaurus Rex. After achieving some success, Mark started to become more adventurous musically. He changed the group's name to T-Rex and they recorded their first hit, Ride a White Swan. After several band member changes, T-Rex went on to perform on Top of the Pops, which was later considered as a defining moment in the foundation of the glam rock movement. In the late 60s, Mark met June Ellen Child she worked at his management record label. They started dating and eventually married on the 30th of January 1970. Their relationship was a turbulent one as Mark continued to see other women. They separated in 1973 after June found out about a relationship Mark was having with one of his backing singers, Gloria Jones. Mark and Gloria had a son in 1975 and his son was known as Roland Bolan Officially, he was named Roland Seymour Field. In the 70s, T-Rex had multiple massive hits, including 20th Century Boy, Get It On and Metal Guru. Mark's musical genius catapulted him and T-Rex to worldwide superstardom. Mark never learnt to drive, but he owned a number of vehicles, including a white Rolls Royce. On the 16th of September 1977, Mark was in a Mini being driven by his partner Gloria and they were heading home. When the vehicle hit a fence and then a tree, Mark was tragically killed instantly and Gloria suffered a broken jaw and broken arm. His funeral service was held on the 20th of September 1977 and was attended by superstars like David Bowie and Rod Stewart. Mark was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2020 as a member of T-Rex. He is considered a pioneer of the glam rock movement and his legacy lives on around the world. And I think the memorial plaques are just here on the right.
Beautiful memory of Mark Bolan, born Mark Field, 30th of September 1947, 16th of September 1977. Musician, writer and poet, much loved and missed by his fans and all those whose lives he touched. And then to the right, we've got the anniversary plaque that was put up in loving memory of Mark Bolan. 25 years on, his light of love still shines brightly, placed by the official Mark Bolan fan club and fellow fans to commemorate the 25th anniversary of his passing, September 2002. So just in front of us we have the memorial bench for Mark Bolan and it is actually a really really cool looking bench. Out of respect for their mega hit Rider White Swan, of course you've got a huge swan at the top. And at the top wing on this side, you've got sitting here we still care for you. On the other side, at the top of the wing, you've got Mark Bolan, 1947-1977. Then underneath we've got a T-Rex engraving. And then on either side, Of course, we've got the white swan and Mark Field, born to boogie. And then on the other side, we've got Mark Bolan, always in our hearts. Hey guys, so we are over Stoke Newington Common and we're going to have a quick look at the childhood home of Mark Bolan. He lived here until he was 15 years old with his family and then he moved over to Wimbledon and I think he went to school around here, primary school and secondary school. So we're going to have a quick look. So the house is just up here on the right. And I think it has got a memorial plaque on the property as well. So that is the childhood home of Mark Bolan. London Borough of Hackney, Mark Field, later known as Mark Bolan, musician lived here 1947-1962. So that is the childhood home of Mark Bolan. Oh. 
So this is the house just coming up on the right that Mark Boland was living in when he was tragically killed. And it is less than a mile from the um, crash site location where he passed away. Number one four two. Hey guys, we are in Barnes and we're just coming up to the road that Mark Boland tragically passed away at where he had the car accident with his girlfriend. So over the years it has changed. There's been lots of memorial stones and plaques added. So we're gonna have a look and um, pay our respects. So the shrine is just here on the left. I think over time it has slowly changed. Things have been added and changed and different memorials have been, um, have been put in place over the years. In respectful memory, of Mark Bolan, musician, writer, poet, donated by Performing Rights Society in recognition of his outstanding contribution to British music. And then as we go up the stairs, we've got the plaques that were added later in recognition of the other members of T-Rex. Steve Took, original founder in 1967 of Tyrannosaurus Rex with Bolan. Took, he remained a stall of the Ladbrook Grove underground community until he choked on a cocktail cherry and died in age 31. Steve Curry, original bassist with T-Rex. Steve was the longest serving T-Rex member other than Bolan and also worked with Chris Spedding. A reckless Eric, Steve died in a car crash in Portugal. June Bolan, June worked in Pink Floyd's offices in 1968. Mark's walked, Mark walked in. From that moment, June became Mark's manager, driver, lover. They married in 1970. Their divorce was never finalised. Mickey Finn. Mickey joined Mark in late 1969 on bongo percussions and was, it, and was with T-Rex until 1975. 
In the 90s, he formed Mickey Finn's T-Rex and attended the bronze bust unveiling here in 2002. And Peter Dino Dines, keyboards, a member of T-Rex from the late 1973 to 1977. And then just on the other side, we've got some information about the steps. These steps were laid on January the 9th, 8th and 10th, 2000, by the T-Rex Action Group. TAG is the legal leasehold holder of this site. TAG's guardianship missions are the site's long-term care to safeguard the to so, safeguard the Bolan tree and to keep the site a suitable tribute to Mark Bolan and his band T-Rex. Mark Bolan 25th anniversary 16th of September 2002 Sad to see them mourning you when you are here within the flowers and the trees. Donated by TAG by Fee Warner. Lots of notes and messages that have been left over the years. So that is the shrine for Mark Bolan. And unfortunately where he passed away. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. As always, if you could please like it and subscribe and leave your comments down below. I do read them. So that would be greatly appreciated. And we will see you on the next video.